security forces on high alert. The threat of another suspected bomb causing panic in this neighborhood. Officials say they believe a little-known Islamist group was behind the carnage on Easter Sunday, but with some kind of link to what a cabinet spokesman called an international network. Suspicion has fallen on Islamic State or Al-Qaeda. This was a very sophisticated attack. It was coordinated, multiple locations, synchronized, very sophisticated explosive devices. We're talking about one of the largest terrorist attacks that has taken place since 9-11 and a local outfit that's been known for carrying out stunts like defacing statues cannot suddenly go from that to carrying out one of the biggest attacks we've seen. A document circulating on social media reveals an advance warning was given to the Sri Lankans earlier this month from a foreign intelligence agency of a possible attack on churches. It named the little-known National Tawith Jamath group, the same local group identified by the authorities today. It's not clear if any action was taken on the tip-off, raising the possibility of a blame game over possible intelligence blunders. If international links are proven, the carnage here in Sri Lanka could signal the start of a new campaign of so-called spectacular terrorist attacks around the world. Security forces just earlier had to come to the area behind me to defuse a suspected car bomb. The Sri Lankan authorities are asking the international community for help with the investigation. Britain has much experience of Islamist terrorism, such as the London Bridge attacks, and has offered assistance, such as with police, forensic or intelligence experts. I've met and spoken with the Prime Minister and with ministers, uh, with senior officials, uh, and I have assured them of the UK's willingness to offer assistance uh, that is useful for the Sri Lankans to have. And have they accepted that? Are we going to help? It um, depends, it's going to depend on what is most useful to uh, Sri Lanka. Um, so, uh, yes, we're waiting for them to tell us what they would find most useful. Some two dozen people have already been arrested, all Sri Lankans. Security forces are being granted wartime powers to make further arrests as they race to prevent further attacks. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Colombo.